late Merry Christmas. I know I'm a day late. Obviously, I was pretty busy, but it's whatever. Obviously, we back now. All right, this is finna sound real crazy after me just hating on the anime last time. I was finna say yesterday, but it was like a few days ago. But this is finna sound real crazy talking about some. Why you was just hating on emo MCs and now you go watching this corny ass shit? Like, I know, bro, but, but hear me out. This shit was actually decent. Like, the quality of this is 10 times more than the quality of the shit I just watched. I already forgot the name of it. It was like gluttony or some stupid shit. It was horrible, to be honest. And I can't lie, I'm watching another anime just like this. Well, not just like this, but in the same genre. So we finna go three in a row with that. Well, depending if I make a video on it or not, I don't know. Anyways, I'm trying to do this as quick as possible before niggas get loud. So let's, you know, do it. I already forgot MC's name. Don't worry about it. So he's with this witch. I'm pretty sure her name was Roxy. Oh, his name was Adonis. Thank God it just came out on the fucking subtitles. Anyways, Adonis and Roxy, because allegedly, not, well, not allegedly, but because witches are being hunted because niggas are like, fuck magic, science rules. Obviously, Roxy dies because MC needs that character development. But the way she dies is horrible. I can't even show it on YouTube, but basically, they teleported the, they teleported the niggas to the middle of the stage for all the people to watch, took her magic, shot her multiple times in front of the nigga, cut her head off. Oh, I, I didn't even mention they stripped the bitch naked too. Had her bow and for forgiveness, still killed her anyways. Honestly, they did the nigga crazy. This whole anime is built upon just trying to make you hate niggas, I guess. I guess it's somewhat of a revenge story. I don't go lie, at the end, it starts turning more into a romance on some chill shit, and I don't mind it. Kind of reminded me of Villain Saga, but like decently worse. Not saying it's bad, but like Villain Saga, you know, it's kind of up there you can't really compare 10 years later this like dumb blonde not dumb blonde this dumb pink hair bitch was running through a prison and then accidentally frees adonis because he's been held captive for 10 years instead of just executing the nigga big mistake from y'all because literally as soon as a nigga got free he went on a fucking murder rampage and started killing millions of civilians Pretty much, well, not the whole plot, but like a decent part of the show is just this nigga's hatred to humans. Even though I didn't say this, but he is human. He just got taught magic by his teacher. So now, since obviously he just watched his fucking witch homie got killed in front of millions of niggas, he's like, fuck it, yeah, I'm just going to kill all of humanity because obviously they got something wrong with him. But then Pink Girl from earlier pulls up and talking about, but then Pink Girl from earlier who freed him from jail pulls up on some stop the violence shit and apparently she's also a witch everyone thought all the witches were killed off but there was actually a secret colony of witches that escaped to the moon so she said no don't worry about it we could just revive roxy we can bring her back to life on some bullshit and she's talking about all this boom headshot not even headshot my nigga she has her whole torso taken off it's whatever they continue to plan now mc is on the fucking moon with all the other witches i haven't been talking about it but let me take a minute to say how good this anime actually looks like the quality might be a little lower on youtube but like if you go watch this anime the quality is so nice and i like the way these niggas are drawn it feels unique but it feels the same as usual i don't know it's just the way they draw their eyebrows is so different i guess anyways down the moon and he's talking to like i assume is the queen of the witches her name's like ophelia or something basically she's saying oh you can bring roxy back at any time all you got to do is put some of your memories into this like tree egg cocoon thing because witches don't get birth through like well through birth i guess they get brought into the world via a tree and you can revive or resurrect witches by just putting your memories into the tree he doesn't lose the memories if that sounded weird like i don't know it's difficult for me to explain in words but if you watch the show, you know what I'm saying. I probably haven't said this earlier, but MC is a smart ass nigga. Instead of bringing Roxy back, he brought back girl from earlier who saved him. I forgot her name already. I'm just going to call her pink hair girl till I remember her name. So he didn't bring Roxy back because the witch's plan to just use Roxy to make more apprentices and get more human niggas to use magic so they can go and kill humanity. So basically, humans can't use magic without using this special quill type of weapon. I haven't explained that yet, but Adonis has to use this quill and write down his spells to actually use magic. And the problem is Roxy is the only one who can make the quills. So they were trying to bring Roxy back and just force her to make quills so they can go kill humanity. And I don't know how, 
Well, I do know how, but MC figured it out, basically saying, wait, you witches don't even need air, so why build a whole dome on the moon unless you assumed humans would be here? So MC snuck like this chip on him, well, this tracker chip, and just pretty much led all the humans onto this place. Long story short, they pretty much kill every witch besides Adonis and Pink Hair Girl. Well, to my knowledge, every witch is dead. Also, another important factor is the pink hair girl can use fucking love charms and shit like her whole spell well not her whole spell but her magic is based upon love so she can only use it on dudes i'm pretty sure well that's what they said but basically well not basically pretty simple it's just mind control on people who find her attractive i guess well not even just people who find her attractive i'm pretty sure it's just anybody but she can put them up under a love spell and she also has a mother who can use the same shit who happens to be the queen of the humans well not of the humans but of this empire i'm pretty sure it's called like Rita or something and she happens to be the queen and she just had the king under a love spell and after the king was like well not after the king was like but the king fulfilled his purpose so she just killed the nigga off and said i i'm the ruler now and we don't really get into that till probably season two, but I just wanted to give some context for if I do make a, another video on season two. I actually haven't made a sequel video before with anime because I haven't watched any season two or another season to any of the shows I've made videos on yet. And then I won't lie. Well, I'm not going to say it gone downhill from here, but the plot does slow down and the pretty much the final episodes, well not the final episodes, but up until the final episodes is just straight romance bullshit, but they're not actually romance, more like, I don't know, this is them getting cooler, I guess, but it's pretty obvious that she likes do even though they don't make it clear but I, I just have the feeling that she does like him until this nigga pulls up and quite literally just rips her eyes out it went it, it really just went south out of nowhere i can't show it on youtube but let's just say well not let's just say i literally said it she gets her fucking eyes ripped out not gonna go too in depth with it but pretty much nigga they're fighting is working for the government human government i never said it but they came back to planet earth and obviously these niggas have bounties on their head so the nigga came to kill them obviously they get in the ass kicked until pink hair girl uses her spell her love spell on him see it was actually way stronger than the niggas thought it was pretty much her spell it's not more of mind control it's more of commands so she literally said i right, nigga you cannot die you have unlimited magic and gravity doesn't affect you and that li it literally all happens because she just defies physics and laws of everything because it is a command. And they talk about the power of love and friendship breaks physics and shit like that. I don't know. It was raw though. And call me crazy, but like if she just, if they were having to set this up and prep, could he be Goku if, he, if she just said, I beat this nigga, this nigga, you're, you're stronger than him. You can't lose to him. And she just said it. Could that work? I don't see MC ever being able to lose as long as he's under her spell. All she has to say, oh, I mean, I guess if they killed her, I don't, I feel like Goku's not the type to like kill the weak, take the fight head on, but I'm not going to get into that power scaler debate. I don't know. It was just a theory. Obviously, nigga pulled up originally, got his ass beat. And then the anime ends on some chill romance shit. I go lie, at the start of the show, kinda hated, well, never hated, but the pink hair girl kind of annoyed me sometimes. But after she lost her eyes, she kinda chilled down. I don't know. She kinda bad for a bitch with no eyes. 